Hello once again and welcome back to Rowley's Wheels. Uh, this time, something different. Uh, we are in a 2006 Grand Cherokee. Um, it's a 5.7 Hemi version. Um, and this particular vehicle is suffering from the dashboard lights flickering on and off. So um, I mean to solve that problem. So just follow me through. So this is the, the Jeep Grand Cherokee, um, 5.7 litre, and uh, the problem I've just described with the dashboard lights um, flickering when the headlights are on, um, I'm thinking it's actually down to this um, stick, which is the um, headlight switch um, and dimmer switch as well. So, you know, you move it up uh, and down and when I've, I've, I've realized that when I'm actually driving and the dashboard lights are flickering, um, if I hold this and push it in and, and, and hold it in firmly, they can all, you know, almost stop flickering, but then it flickers again. So what I'm gonna to do today, um, I'm going to replace this stalk with a brand new one, which I've got here. So uh, take the netting off, you can actually see so it's actually um, brand new, just the same, and it's got the electrical connection as a plug-in. So this should be quite straightforward. Uh, and to do this job, the first thing I'm gonna do is to disconnect the battery, and then we'll come inside and we'll have to take the uh, shroud off here uh, and the bottom off underneath uh, here. Um, and uh, I'll talk you through this step-by-step. -step. So I'm gonna start by disconnecting the earth terminal, which then will obviously kill all the power into the engine. Right, now we've disconnected the battery. Um, in order to try and remove this, uh, this cowling around the um, steering wheel itself, there are three screws. And I'm just gonna show you now. Um, the first one that uh, we need to look at is up there, that hole. And then there's one up here, and then there's one just there. So um, I would probably just pull this lever down out of the way so we can get the, the screws out. And they're actually Torx uh, T20. So I'm actually using a Torx uh, screwdriver. I um, don't know if you can see that, but it's uh, quite a nice one. Um, and uh, what I've done is I've removed the middle one, first of all, and the, uh, the Torx screw. I've taken off just so as you can see um, it's just as simple as that so I'm going to take out the other torque screws um, and then the cowl shroud rather around the steering wheel should come off I'll just pull that down very carefully It's okay, we don't lose that screw in there. There we go. And the one that's just come out of there is a longer one. So remember that the, um, the screw that came out of the one on the right side is a, a longer screw. The one that came out of the middle is a shorter screw. So I'm going for the, for the next one under this next shroud and I'll, I'll uh, start filming once I've got that off. Right, okay, so what I've done is I've put the screws in order. So the, the middle screw um, is the shorter one and the two outside ones are the longer ones. So I'm just going to now come inside and take off the, the shroud cover. It should come off. There we go. Just comes off, straightforward. Um, that's quite simple, it just clicks into place. That's the bottom part off. And this top part here should just literally come off the same way. And it looks like it's got a little bit of a, a flap on it to tuck underneath the, uh, the dashboard when it goes back in again. So make sure that's tucked in on the way out. So. That now is removed and 
here is the offending article. So um, I think on this one, there are two screws uh, which hold this into place. Don't know if you can see it, but there's, there's, um, I get my feet in the right place. There's one here. And I understand there is another just on the underside of it, which you might just be able to see there. So it is just there. So I'm gonna take those off and I'll tell you what torques they are in a second. Okay, so the size of uh, torques is um, is a 10 for the top one. So it is, it's much smaller than the, um, the ones underneath, which are 20. So undoing these now, I can get in the position to be able to film this a bit easier. I'm doing this one-handed, so please forgive me. And I don't want to lose this one, so I'll just back it up a little bit. Very carefully remove that screw. Put it on the dashboard, and one underneath will be a bit more difficult to get to. So I'm going to remove that next. Um, when I've done that, I will show you how I'm going to unplug this actual uh, stalk from the steering column. So now we've removed the screws, top and bottom. Um, I'm now going to attempt to sort of just pull this out now. So this should, oh yes it does, it just, just unplugs. It's as simple as that. So that's the old one. And uh, hey presto, new one. So, attempt to push this in. And that was very easy. So I'm just going to fit those little grub screws back in again and we'll then do a, a full test. Okay, so I've actually clipped this back in again with a little flap that goes underneath that um, speedo, speedometer binnacle um, and make sure obviously the easiest way of locating this in place again is to see where that um, hazard warning light button is. So you can actually sit that on top first and then you literally just clip this into place and it, uh, it goes together. And all I've got to do now is to put those three screws, that one in, that one there, and then that one in there, and then everything's back together again quite neatly, um, because the new switch is now in place, nicely in place, so the rubbers seal around there, that's quite good. And then I'm gonna connect the battery up, and then I'm gonna do another test. Make sure everything's working okay. Okay, so I've started up the engine and uh, right indicator working, left indicator working. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna put this on side lights and then full beam. And then I'm just gonna go outside to make sure that actually that's dip beam. Okay, now let's see, put this on the full beam. Okay, full beam working. Okay, so it looks like we've got everything repaired, which is really good. And so we're gonna test it now, driving in the dark and uh, see whether we've got these flashing lights on the dash and hopefully, hopefully it'll uh, cure the problem I've uh, experienced. And uh, also I noticed that the um, dimming wheel on here as well was one giving us a bit of a problem. So just looking at the screen now, it gets brighter. That's all the way. And the lights are on inside the car as well on that setting right up. Um, drop that back, run it down, 
See, it runs right down almost well to off position. Um, so that is looks like it's quite firm. It looks as though we've got a job done. Thank you for watching once again, and I hope this has been very helpful to uh, any guys and girls who own a similar vehicle. Um, and I'll keep you informed as to how things go on once I've driven the vehicle in the dark a few times. Keep on watching my page. Um, remember to uh, subscribe. And uh, hey, you never know what's going to come on next on this channel. I'm going to try and make it as interesting as possible. So um, appreciate you watching and thank you all very much again. Thank you. Bye bye.